Well, hello, Coffee Time friends. I don't know why we're so close. Look at this. There we are. I like that better. Welcome to Coffee Time with John and Mama. I think they'll do a reel. So if you're watching this as a reel, then come over to our page and join us. Um, we're making chili dogs. And I'm going to cut an onion up. Mama's already... Mama won't wait for y'all. So I was waiting too long, and I've done that earlier reel. She's done making the chili for you this guy here. But she can tell you what she put in it, I guess. Mama, you want to come over and tell them what you did since you've done did it? Oh, I ain't done nothing much, yeah. I see a pot of chili there. That's what I'm looking at. And it's hard to grab. <laughs> like we need to get some more onions in it and some tomato paste. You need to taste to see if we need more. Better. Just start from the beginning and let them, tell them, catch them up to where you are. I just you... ground the meat, or cook the meat, and <clears throat> put a little salt and pepper, and... Uh, the sudden secret. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. Excuse me. And then, uh, that's it. Oh, and I say it wrong. Mixing. Mixing. Chili Mixing. powder. A little bit. Mixing to the past. I don't think it's got enough <clears throat> in it. That's all we use in our hot dog chili. We do two different chilies. Uh, we do bow chili a totally different way, and you can use different chili um, than we do hot dog chili. Hot dog chili, we want it drier. We don't want it soggy on your bun. Now, we might not make it right. I don't know. We're just telling you what we do. We always put a little tomato paste in both of them, but it's more important in this one than it is in the bowl chili one, to me, anyway. Yeah, the bowl chili has tomatoes in it. Yeah, this one don't. We just want chili on this one, like you do for a hot dog bun. Do y'all have two or three recipes, or do you just use the same one and put it and use it where you want to? Now, don't think we wouldn't use bowl chili on a hot dog if that's what we have. We'll always I use what we have. have. We'll always <laughs> use what we have. But uh, if we're making deliberately making jazz for hot dogs, we got a special way we do it. And this is one of them. And we normally put a little Coca-Cola in it. Um, it's just a little onion, Mama. And I'm going to put a few on top of mine. I don't know if I'm going to, but I'm going to chop up a little bit more here. This is a sweet Vidalia onion. So I'm going to chop up a little bit for the top. I'm also going to chop us up a tomato uh, for the top. I like tomato on mine sometimes, if it's the right time of the season. When uh, you got good fresh fruit. When you got good fresh fruit, yeah. Now in the winter time, not so People much. Put more in here, or you uh, it had some in it because yeah. you used the rest of that meat we had already prepared, and then that's the rest of the hamburger in it. Yeah. So it's Harry <laughs> had some, that's just a few more. So come over here and we'll look at this board. So I'm just chopping up some onions. Not doing, you know, not the best knife skills. What are y'all eating? Where are, you, where are you watching us from? We'd love to know that. So just drop a note in there. If you want to say something, say it. If not, just drop the state you're in. Or the city in the state. We'd like to know where y'all are from. You don't care. They're free. Come over here and y'all see y'all are working on, on the hearts and the thumbs up. The nose. That wakes up our algorithm and tells Facebook... There's some interaction going on there, and it also helps people get notices. So when when, when you do that and the algorithm jumps, then it also says we got to send out notices. So all that is very beneficial to us, and we appreciate it. Thank you so much. And I'm going to take care of this onion while I'm into it, and then I'll put it in a Tupperware container. Stick it in there and I'll have it the next time. Sometimes I'll even go ahead and chop it up. But in this situation, I don't know if I'm going to chop or if I'm going to be using it on a sandwich or something. So I'm going to chop up this piece because here's a nice piece for a sandwich. But I'm going to go ahead and chop this piece up while we talk. 
Not a lot of prep, not a lot to do today. Just, we've got the wieners. We just stuck them in the Micro Pro Grill. That's how we cook them. Uh, I don't like them boiled. Do y'all like boiled for hot dogs? I know that's the old traditional way. Mama used to do it. And you always had that old boiled weenie water. I never did like that. But um, the if you boil them, you have a different taste. But maybe that's the very taste you're looking for. We like them either in the oven or on the grill outside or in the microwave grill in the microwave. And those are our three ways of cooking them. Uh, if, we, if, if all else fails, we'll throw them on a sheet pan, put them in the easy bake, and they'll grill in there. And that's a delicious way to fix them and get them on the table too. But we like a little char on Do you like char on your... Uh, Hot dogs, or you say no, that's the reason I boil them, John. We don't want that char. Palmetto State, South Carolina. Okay, Kathy, welcome. Hey, Paula, watching you from Myrtle Beach, South Carolina. Patty, we love Myrtle Beach so good. Um, it's almost like our getaway home. We love to come down there. Haven't been in several years. Used to, it was just a given. We were going to Myrtle Beach. Um, we kept a reservation down there. And the hotel we stayed at um, would call us and say, we're expecting your all's arrival. Are you going to book? And I'd say, I sure am. And we'd get booked up. And it was always something to look forward to. Even if we went to another destination, we tried to get to Myrtle Beach because that was just like, coming home. We didn't even count it as a vacation. It was just a time at the beach. Because we loved it so good. And my daddy loved it. If, if, we, if we could persuade him to go anywhere, it'd be Myrtle Beach. And he'd say, I'll, I'll go down Myrtle Beach with you instead. Now all this other stuff, I ain't going. So I think he felt at home there too. We ate the same old places. Knew the people from year to year. Um, didn't really care about any adventure. We got, we went to the food line the day we got there. Got our groceries in. There was a flea market next to an indoor flea market. Mm -hmm, we were fancy. And we go to that indoor flea market at least once that week. Sometimes twice. We would go to the... Gardens. What was those gardens called, Mama? Botanical gardens or something? Had the big statues, y'all know what I'm talking about? In Garden City, next, just right down the street. And one day of our trip was always, always spent in Charleston. Back then, you could get a day trip. You could book it through the hotel. They'd come pick you up at a certain time. And um, they'd drive you to Charleston. You'd go eat at a restaurant, which you paid for your meal, I think. Yeah. And uh, you could get a carriage ride around Charleston. Loved it. And if you're sitting there thinking, I'd like to go on vacation some more, let me recommend that one. That was always a fun trip. Certain, some things about Myrtle Beach I love best was just nature. I love the warm breeze at night and the ocean air. I love sitting out on the balcony and just listening to that ocean. And I would, you know, get to thinking about, I'm hearing those waves as they crash in on shore. Where have those waves been? What other shores has that water's touched? How many ships has that... Uh, wave scene. It's just neat when you think about how big the world is and then you get to thinking how small it is and how we're all right here in the same world living together. Well, your onions are done. What else did you put in? I didn't put nothing. Now, does this look like hot dog chili or does that look like hot dog chili? That's what I want to see on my hot dog. That chili right there. I want that good chili. I've got to plug y'all in. Won't you taste? 
taste. Just see if it's got a See if it's got what in it, Mama. I got chili powder. Love mixing chili powder. Let's give it a taste. I ain't gonna turn down a little quality control here. Let's give it a whirl. It looks pretty good, but I can't tell. I think you've hit it, Mama. It's awful good. And I think I've got you some onions over here. We can put them in a Tupperware and put them right in the refrigerator. And then, yeah, when you put them in the Tupperware and they don't get air to them, I mean, I'm not an onion connoisseur, but I always think it tastes just as good to have them pre-prepared like that. And we even froze some, and I like them fine. I had no problem with some froze chopped onions. Yes, I do know you can buy. Haven't, but I'm willing to try it. But I don't mind, as long as we have good fresh fidelias. Now, if they make me cry and carry on, but if I am going to cut something that's going to make me cry onion-wise, I will lay a dish rag on my cutting board right there on the corner. And I read somewhere where the onion vapors are just looking for a moist place and they'll be drawn to any moisture. So if you've got a wet paper towel, wet uh, dishcloth laying there, it will help your eyes. Now, is that just something they made up and told me and I believed them so now I think it works? <laughs> no, it could be. But do I see a difference? Yes, I do. Hello, John and Mama. Hey, Danny. <coughs> Lots of onions in my chili. Pam, we probably would put a lot more, but you know our problems with onions. Mama don't like them. Now, last night, I just was in no mood for I onions. I like onions. They just don't like me sometimes. That's the difference. <laughs> I went in the mood for an onion last night, and my stomach last night settled down. I think the Sprite helped, even though it did have a little bit of sodium. But it was... Um, it was... It's better today. I've had no problems today. We really haven't eaten though today. No, we I had not. eggs and tomato and toast for breakfast. Mama had a sausage biscuit that she made here. Um, we took off to the market, to the farmer's market. Got another one of those little delicious watermelons, another cantaloupe. Um, <clears throat> you can get a little toast on them today, or you not want I can. Stick them on there. Really. And make them... Thank you. Yeah. Mama's going to toast some buns at. Uh, Mama, did you get anything else at the farmer's market? We got tomatoes. Some green and red tomatoes, watermelon, cantaloupe. Green, red tomatoes, watermelon, cantaloupe. Look at these beautiful green tomatoes. That's what I got. We've not made it successful with a green tomato in the past two weeks. They turn ripe really quick. But I may fry up some of these. We got four in here, three. Three, and this is what they'll look like in just a minute. They don't take them long. That was a green one probably yesterday. Uh, so we got three uh, pink. Mama likes fried pink ones. And look at this butte. Y'all say these tomatoes scream for a sandwich. That one's got sandwich written on it right there. Can you see it? Sandwich. <laughs> but look at that beautiful, beautiful sandwich tomato. We've got several over here. Uh, was going to can some. I may still can a little bit. Mama, do you want some tomato for yours tonight? No, I don't. I'm going to do a little tiny, tiny one over here. Try to find something. Because I like a good, fresh tomato. That doesn't look good. It's not too tiny. Oh, it's not. But you'll eat it. Yeah, or I'll leave it. And let me tell you this. And I, I ain't telling you what to do. Uh, you want to read it. I know you do, because you always do. Um, if I have leftover tomato from supper, and I've done this for a long time, and I've never had any any problems, but if I have leftover tomato, I'll put it in a good Ziploc bag, and I'll leave it out here on the counter. And um, I've never had a problem with it. I don't want it in the refrigerator. Uh, I really do other just almost throw it away is to fool with it in the refrigerator. 
Because to me, I don't know if it tightens them. I don't know what it does. It just don't taste as good. Change the flavor. If you take a cold tomato and to me, you've, that's it. It's over. A lot of y'all probably say, well, that's silly. I do it all the time. And that's fine. You keep on doing it, but I'm not going to. Here is. Now here is the Macro Pro Grill wieners. Can you see them in there, Mama? I can't. See? And they're charred. And that's what we like is them little stripes on there. That's top and bottom charred. And they're good. They're real good. I'll leave that on my toilet. And if you've been bullying yours your whole life, try to put them in a skillet. You can put a lid on it. And you'll have to turn yours more often because it'll you'll have to do both sides. But it really does make a difference. Um they taste almost as good as if you are going to grill them over an open fire. Now, that's another way to make them on the grill outside or open, open over the open fire pit. Now, I'm going to tell you, I've not drove around and nosed around, but I bet you there's some fire pits going on around our neighborhood tonight. It's just 85 here at 4 o'clock, and as it cools off, gets down probably around 60 or something, this evening, people will be grabbing them fire pits because they've not probably been able to use them this this summer much. It's been very hot. Very hot. I have seen some good grilling going on on Facebook. I've smelled a few. I've I've smelled a sm I smell. We got a neighbor oh, two gosh. doors down, and every time I see him out, sometimes I say, "You starved me to death." He can cook, and he he'll show pictures. And that makes it 10 times worse because he shows chicken and he shows ribs and he, what, I mean, he just, he's an amazing griller. I mean, in his food, I'll sit outside sometime and it'll waft its way down here. It makes me want to get right up and go out and eat somewhere. <laughs> I don't want to stand over that hot grill. Uh, but he does a fine job grilling and it smells so good. But that's the beauty of living in a neighborhood when people can cook. You get a smell. They're good cooking. Um, if I if it wasn't so hot now this winter, you might smell my grill. Because I might grill some this winter. When everybody else is too cold to get out there, I'll be going, I can get out there. And if I've got a grill going, I'll feel like I'm in the tropics. Now see, this is just on our toaster. We just put that on the toaster. That's a hot dog bun, in case you're wondering. That makes it so good. Makes it so good, doesn't it, Mom? I got water. I got water. I'm not. I think I'm just gonna settle with water. Well, you're such a good person. Well, I drank two pops yesterday, and oh, my stomach so bothered me. So. Well, my stomach bothered me. I'm thinking maybe it was the caffeine or the carbonation, or but the Sprite seemed to help. But what are you gonna do? If you drink it, you think it hurts your stomach. If you hurt, if your stomach's hurting, you think I need a Sprite. But then it does have some sodium in it, as Carol pointed out last night. Um, I don't know. I'm going to chop up a few tomatoes here, but I've got some slices. I love tomato, and uh, it's not going to go to waste if I can help it, because I'm going to eat it. Uh, I'll just eat a slice of tomato. You know, that's fine with me. I like lots of tomato on my hot dog. <clears throat> Some of y'all are probably thinking, a tomato on a hot dog? What's he talking about? Well, that's good. I'm going to show you right now in a minute. What you looking for? I don't know. <laughs> you been in that shape, you think you're You want the chip? Oh, that's probably what I was thinking. Did you want chips? Salty Lay's original might be all right. I don't know if I want to. We're getting, <clears throat> the older I get, and Mama's always been a little bit like this, we eat a little simpler than we used to eat. You know, used to we thought we had to have meat and three, and a dessert, and this and that. We gave up the dessert years ago. So we decided we could eat without a dessert. That one's almost charred. That's Mama's. 
Um, and now I'm not being mean to her. I'm not getting to give her exactly what she wants. And um, then we sort of started doing, you know, as long as we had a vegetable. And now, well, I will fix up a casserole and that's it. Ain't nothing going with it. Or we'll fix. We had goulash the other night. Goulash. One meal wonders. We're into that. Tonight, hot dogs is plenty. I want my mustard first. Yes, ma'am. I get it all over me, no matter what I put it. I'm using <laughs> French's spicy brown. I like that. And I'll put a little shot of that on top because I like the taste of mustard with tomato. Any of you like that? And I'm going to put a big old knife of onions right like that. I use the knife to put my onions and stuff on because you can get a whole blade full. And then just, it'll go right the whole thing. Don't? Oh. Yeah, okay. Would you like any onion? No, better not. How about some of this beautiful tomato? No, I'm just Okay. I love my plate. My presentation ain't very good. Good thing we ain't done for presentation. You yeah. eat with your eyes first. We try to do a little presentation, but we fail miserably as a rule. No, yeah. If you're looking here for fancy or how to do it the most, you know, the best manners or whatever, or you never eat on paper plates and all that, then you're not going to learn much here. You can just stay and make fun of us. You know, give you something to do. But we, our theory is clean. We just want to be clean. And I know I'm, eating, I'm making up for my onion loss last night. It's a real I love it. Now I like a little bit of yellow mustard. Just, it's just plain old yellow. And I just think it tastes really good with tomatoes. Oh, George is... It's beautiful. Is that the word you're yeah, looking for? Yeah, it's beautiful. It does look good. Here, does that look like downtown folks? Now, a little sauerkraut on that or a little pickle relish would be good too, but I'm going to skip it. Yeah, well, I'm glad you're skipping something. <laughs> <laughs> Let's pray, Mom. Uh, Dearly Father, we thank you for this meal. We thank you for providing it for us, Lord. We thank you for precious hands that prepared it, dear Lord, and we just want to ask you to nourish our bodies with it. And dear Lord, we just pray for all those that have prayer requests that are gathered here tonight. And dear Lord, be with us, put a hedge protection around each and every one of us. In your blessed name we pray. Amen. Amen. All right, Mama, there it is. Absolute deliciousness. You sure pick, pick yours up? No. Probably not. Now, we used to put it on light bread. We didn't have buns all the time. I mean, we always had it on light bread. It's good. Yeah. And I always had them open face, kind of like this, as long as it was light bread instead of buns. We didn't buy a lot of buns, did we? No, I did. I remember hamburgers was on light bread. We had them that way a lot. I don't think anybody knew any different. I remember, though, I thought we was real fancy. Because every once in a while, Mama would get buns, and they had sesame seeds on them, just like the restaurants. <laughs> and I would think, boy, those buns have got seeds on them. It's funny how you remember stuff like that. You thought you were showing up that day, didn't you? I was almost positive we had we had got the big time because if we was gonna have buns of fancy seeds, then you know those aren't even that good for you. But for some reason I thought that was the very thing. Mmm. That's a good dog, Mama. Mm -hmm. Yours looks good. Would you like some tomato? No. No tomato won't hurt you, will it? No, I shouldn't. 
That tomato is awful good on there, Mama. It is. Mm -hmm. Rhonda's having zesty chicken herb legs. Mm. Rhonda, send me that recipe. That sounds good. Happy Saturday. Hey there. Who said that? Cherry. Cherry Tate Jackson. Happy Saturday to you, too. Yeah. Hey, Margaret. How are you? Hey, Fran. Hey, y'all, she says. Hey, Charlotte. Wow, makes me hungry. Looks delicious. Well, I'm not going to... I'm going to tell you, Fran, it is delicious. Mama, tell them how you made that chili. Oh, I told them. I just put the meat and the onions... How much meat was that? Mm, half uh, a pound? No, it's just about a pound. Pound. And, uh, oh, yeah, because you used some of that other day. Yeah. And uh, salt and pepper and Maxine chili powder. Salt, pepper, Maxine chili powder, and we put a little Southern Secret. Yeah. I forgot about that. Southern Secret from y'all, Brand. You can buy it there. It's one of our absolute favorites. And we use it on about everything, but... Did you bring it back over here, Mama? Mm -hmm. I'm not a No, here it is. Is that green tomato done from me? One of them has. So this is Y'all Brands, and it's Southern Secret. We are a sponsor for them. And we like their products. I drink their coffee every day of my life. And their tea. And their tea. And if I have to drink the other coffee, I can always taste it a little different. Because sometimes I'll be at work and wherever I'm at, whatever coffee they got, that's what I drink. And uh, I think, hmm, can't wait to get home and get back to my y'all's. <laughs> You're spoiled. I am. It just has such a nice flavor and blended flavor. If you've not tried their coffee, try it. Of course, you've heard us rave about their tea forever, and we love it. I think you're stuck on mine's old tankful right now. Oh, yeah. That's my, my new favorite. But Peach is still my all-time favorite. Cy Robertson mm -hmm. is also sponsored by y'all's. He says best tea you ever drunk. Y'all know who I'm talking about, the guy with the beard. From Duck Dynasty. I seen him the other day on there and he said it's the best tea you ever drank. Mmm. That bun made the difference too, mm -hmm. testing it. Toasted. That's a good run of chili, Mama. Do y'all ever just eat hot dogs? Is that a, a family thing, or is that just something you all grab when you're out somewhere? We ain't had none in a while. Mm -hmm. It's been a while. We love them. Mama, it's one of Mama's favorites. I know that you think of Mama being a mashed potato gal on a pork chop or something like that, but now she loves pizza, frozen pizza with cheese sticks. That's one of her favorites, and hot dogs is one of her favorites. Come think about it. Mama, you do eat like a kid. Yeah, I am a kid. I'm a kid at heart. But now, you kid. won't find anything any more favorite of hers than mashed potatoes. No, no, I like mashed potatoes. Not sure what we're having tomorrow. we got to decide that. Lay out some kind of protein, Mama. Mm -hmm. I wish there was an evening farmer's market. Well, they've been having it on Tuesday evening, but the temperature has been in the 90s, nothing. They're not having it, and I can understand why. I'm talking about a Saturday evening one. Oh. After you eat a hot dog, it just seems like you should go to town and do something. <laughs> they had a fair day and had competitions and kids played, and they had three legged races and cakewalks. And they do a lot of good. They really work with the kids. I'm proud of them. They're trying to build a pavilion, and I'd be excited to see that. 
Hopefully it would lend to being able to have it year round or it's going to be an indoor or outdoor pavilion with some doors, I think. And you say, well, it'd be hard to have farmer's market in the winter. No, it's not because you could sell canned goods that you canned out of your garden. And some people make homemade stuff. Some people will freeze vegetables and then can later, like blackberries and all that, and then they could have fresh canned berries in the winter time. They have, uh, several of them have a lot of canned stuff. Mm -hmm. One lady cans uh, spaghetti sauce and chili sauce and, yeah. and so, everything. I mean, you've got a big variety you can pick from. You could have, it might not be right out of the garden, but it could be some good canned stuff. Uh, and that one lady, she does green beans for people. They are her to just can her, their green beans. Wow. That's a hard job. Yeah, it's hard. That's a hard job. Uh, but you could do pies in the winter. But if you live in town and no place to grow something, You'd be glad for somebody to mm -hmm. grow your stuff and can it like that. A lot of places do quilts and stuff in the winter. Now, I did, didn't notice her to, excuse me, today down there, but there's one lady that down our last week, she was crocheting some of the prettiest shawls and had a lot of pretty baby uh, blankets and stuff, these. And she was That's sitting there crocheting, and it was so pretty, a lot of the stuff was. The chicken legs are from grill mates. Okay, Rhonda. Packet called Zesty Herb from grill mates. Okay, I'll be looking for that. That would be good. Thank you for putting that back on there. That was sweet of her. Chili dogs here tonight, tonight too. Isn't it a wonderful time, Holly? Had chili dogs. We got chips here, but we're not eating them. Um, just didn't want them, didn't need it with this. Be like that little kid at school, at the church the other night when we had hot dogs. I said, I want a hot dog, but I don't want that weenie thing. They was just wanting the chili dog. <laughs> But it's it's 85 at 5 o'clock. That sounds hot. It's, you know. But it's nice enough you could have a weenie roast with a cheer. And um, it would be nice to find the old fire pit and sit around and talk. You could sit far enough back. But it would keep the mosquitoes on from you. Gather the family up and make some memories. That's what it's all about. Oh, yeah. Mommy, anything you want to add? No. Tonight's going to be a low cleanup night. Oh, I love that. That, uh, <laughs> that micro pro road just wipes out. You don't really have no problem with that. And um, one kill. One kill and two forks and a knife and a cutting board. I think we can do this. We won't be in the kitchen all that long. No. Time. Now, sometimes we're here. Somebody asked me one time, said, how long does it take y'all to do that video? About 30, 40 minutes? I said, we're on that long. I said, there's a lot of prep that goes on before we even start. I said, and then afterwards, you got to clean up. We don't have a crew. And I said, oh, I said, so sometimes it's two hours and a half, three. Wow. I said, yeah. But we like it. According we're going to we got to cook anyway, so we just need to have y'all sitting here with us. Is not yeah. that Yeah. Thank y'all for the little comments over here, the hearts and all that. Yes, we really um, appreciate that. And that helps our algorithm. I didn't know that until not long ago, but we really do appreciate it, and we appreciate your comments. That helps too. Uh, anything to push us out and keep us going. And uh, I'm going to try to do another reel or whatever they offer at the end of this live there's a little button that says would you like to do a reel I think it says I've done them in the past and they work fine and then I started they started not having any sound to them oh 
Oh, I remember that if they weren't doing by the tower. So if you get one with any sound, don't panic. It's a portion of this video that they've turned into a reel. But it does let people who don't want to watch the long one see a short little version of a little bit of it. So I'm going to try it again just to see what it is. So don't panic if there's no sound to this <laughs> sound. So anyhow, y'all have a blessed evening. It's still early. It's early. It's Saturday, 5 o'clock. We may nose around the neighborhood. We may do all kinds of goodies. I don't know to this evening. Because it's nice and cool. Or and the wind seems to be stirring just a little. Yeah, it's gonna. It's not too humid. That's the thing here. We have that humidity, but it's a lot better now. Yeah. Anyway, we want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for That's putting right. up with us. Join us in the morning if you'd like to for Sunday school highlights and tomorrow Sunday, Southern Sunday lunch. Mm -hmm. Don't even know what we're gonna have, but I bet it'll be good. Yeah. Mama's cooking, oh. so it'll be good. Say good night, Mama. Well, I want to say remember all the sick and everything first. Keep yeah. them always in mind. Exactly. And all the lost people, keep them in mind. So, good night, Mama. God bless you all. Bye-bye. Y'all have a good one. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.